welcome to this video so this video is in continuation with the uh, simulation of emitter follower circuit in LT spice so we have uh, in the previous video we have seen how to uh, simulate and obtain the input impedance of an emitter follower circuit <coughs> uh, in this uh, video we will see how we can measure the output impedance so to measure the output impedance as you can see in the screen what I have done is I have removed the input source from the input side and I shorted it and I have connected a test voltage at the output side and uh, I marked this point as V test. this is actually this is an input port I had just written the previous port uh, here itself so I have connected a test voltage and now the procedure to find in output impedance is measure what is V test divided by uh, the current flowing here which is a current flowing through the capacitor the procedure remains same, we will uh, perform AC analysis and we will plot this V test divided by this current and that will give you the output impedance of the circuit. So now I have in given bootstrapping. So um, you can perform with and without bootstrapping. The output impedance, um, whatever we have seen at the input side, uh, we have seen a huge increase in the input impedance. That effect will not be there on the output side because um, the output impedance is already small. Right. So to perform that, uh, you can see that uh, in the uh, test tool, I have kept the AC amplitude as one nothing else because we are not feeding any input signal here. Rather, we are uh, keeping a test voltage with an amplitude of one. So as I mentioned before, uh, whatever we get as the gain or the AC analysis uh, when we perform, whatever we plot as V out will be directly the uh, <coughs> V out. Uh, v out is actually one. So if if I can perform. Uh, if I can get the current flowing here, so 1 by of that current, 1 by the current flowing through this capacitor or directly we test by current flowing through the capacitor will be the output impedance. So since then uh, analysis is already enabled, AC analysis is enabled, um, just click on the run button. That will give you this window and in this window I am just right clicking and I am adding traces. <clears throat> so when I add, add traces I can directly uh, click on the V test voltage and I can uh, write it as V test divided by the current flowing through V test is I, I V test that I'm marking that will give you uh, a graph of this kind so I'll just uh, remove the pl phase plot and change the y axis into linear so we will obtain a graph of something of this shape where uh, if we click on this we will get to know that the impedance here is uh, we can measure impedance somewhere around this low frequency range even here you can see that the impedance at the low frequency range is somewhere around uh, 140 ohms or if we move further you will see that it is uh, somewhere around 53 ohms so as per the theoretical understanding what we know is the output impedance is RE, divided, RE parallel to RE capital RE uh, which is R4 in this case parallel to small RE and uh, approximately the current uh, when you measure the current flowing through the transistor the emitter current is coming around 1.05 milliamps so uh, the resistance will be RE parallel to RE will be very close to 30 ohms 26-30 ohms and what we are getting here is very close to 53 ohms uh, that uh, again it shows a very low voltage so that can be this can be considered as the output impedance of uh, the emitter follower circuit <coughs> now let's, <coughs> let's see how we can measure the uh, input impedance of a emitter follower with Darlington pair so before performing this experiment uh, we, we should know that Darlington pair is nothing but uh, connecting one more transistor in common collector configuration so this is the original transistor q1 now we have added one more transistor of near q2 you can see that both the collectors are shorted together and the emitter of the previous is connected to the base and now the output is actually connected to the emitter of the second uh, device if you analyze this darlington pair you will uh, under, you will know that the input impedance of the darlington pair is much more than uh, the input impedance of the uh, emitter follower circuit so this is basically to Darlington pair is usually used to improve the input impedance uh, roughly by beta times of the uh, the second transistor 
Now the rest of the circuit remains same. I have just connected the bootstrap capacitor, but it is not fed back to the input. So what we'll do is we'll perform an AC analysis uh, and we will measure what is the input voltage by input current that will give you the input impedance. So I'll just run this analysis and I'll add the traces where I'll get uh, V of V in divided by uh, current of V in and after plotting it I'll remove the phase plot and change this axis to linear to measure the uh, impedance in the input impedance you can see that the low frequency input impedance is uh, very close to 98 kilo ohms which is uh, higher than the emitter follower input impedance so by adding Darlington pair the input impedance is improved compared to the normal emitter follower circuit and this is without bootstrapping right now uh, what we'll do is in the same circuit I'll just uh, connect uh, bootstrapping for that I'm just connecting from here back to this point I've connected bootstrapping and with this bootstrapping we'll see how the input impedance is improved here so if you look at this already the output uh, the results has come I'm removing the phase plot and changing this axis to linear which will give you the low frequency input impedance of the circuit uh, which is very close to 3.77 mega ohm so if you remember for the previous um, emitter follower circuit with bootstrapping the input impedance was lesser than this now the input impedance of a Darlington pair is much higher than the regular emitter follower circuit so um, if you look at uh, these circuits we will understand that emitter follower and Darlington pair is basically used whenever we need high input impedance and low output impedance and we also saw how to measure the input impedance and output impedance in LT spice <coughs> So as we have seen how to measure the output impedance of an emitter follower similarly you can remove the input source, short it, connect a test voltage at the output side and then measure what is the test voltage by the test current to measure the output impedance of the emitter follower with Darlington pair. So I hope you understood the impedance measurements of emitter follower and Darlington pair. Thank you.